Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marley and you are watching Marley's Inspiration. I wanted to get this video out because I want you to fully understand why I do what I do. And we also need to talk about what just happened today. Okay, so I do what I do because I am keeping you informed. I want you to know about everything that is going on that the news does not tell you. And there's my microphone. I'm testing my microphone because um, I want to make my video sound quality better. And if I could use the microphone and it actually be where you can understand what I'm saying, that would be so much easier. Okay, so back to the subject. I do what I do because I want to keep you informed. There are things that the news will not tell you and you need to know what is going on around us. I do this because, one, I'm listening to God. Two, I'm warning you of everything that is going on. And three... You really need to stay informed because the Bible says that we are given signs of the times. How can we not know that the time is near? How can we look and know that the harvest, the field harvest, is almost ready to pick, but we cannot discern the signs of the times? That is what Jesus said. He gave us signs. So that we could keep up with it. So that we could watch. We could know when, how close his coming was. We could know. So we could stay prepared. The time to stay prepared is now. Now today. There were three earthquakes. Three. One was in Micronesia. The one in Micronesia. It was a. 6.2 6.2 yeah it was a 6.2 then like less than two hours later Japan had an earthquake the earthquake in Japan was a 5.6 a few minutes ago and all this happened today all of it happened today a few minutes ago um Indonesia had a 6.6 .6 earthquake. If you have ever had a child, if you have ever given birth, you know the closer you get to the baby coming, the contractions get stronger. They start coming more frequently. The closer you get to giving birth, the closer you get, the more strong the, track, the contractions come, the more deeper and stronger, the more painful the contractions. Well, if you look around and you see what's going on as far as the earthquakes and the uh, bubonic plague that just happens to be in China right now. And there was one other place, Mongo, I want to say it was Mongo, that is dealing with a bubonic plague. And that is the Black Death. If anybody knows about the bubonic plague, that is the Black Death. And that can kill millions of people. Jesus said that there would be pestilences, famines, earthquakes in diverse places. Many would be offended and many would offend. So if you look around and you see everything that is going on, especially the weather, especially the weather, because yesterday in my area, I did not put this on YouTube, but in my area yesterday, my entire road in front of my house the highway was flooded and it was flooded so bad they were pushing the water back to my house so we had a lot of flooding yesterday last week I didn't put up but maybe one or two videos because we had family in and they just left yesterday so we wanted to focus on our family while they were here because they came in from 700 miles away. And we wanted to spend time with them because we never get to see them. 
and I knew you would enjoy the fireworks video so I put that up for you but y'all now is the time to get serious I've been saying this for I know months now is the time to get serious we cannot sit back and see the time that we are in and just play now now is not the time to play now is the time to get serious about the things of god do not let anyone or anything or any circumstance stop you because we are coming up on a time where it's only going to get worse it's only going to get worse because we are in the end. We are in the end. And I, I had a dream. And I wasn't going to say anything about it. But since the earthquakes today, I'm going to go ahead and tell you the dream. Okay, so I'm not going to put it in the title that I had a dream. I'm just going to discuss it with you. So basically, um... I had a dream two nights ago and in this dream I was outside I was laying on a hill it was a hill and as I was laying on a hill there was this um, man in a white coat he, he looked like a scientist and he said that the big one is coming and I looked on the hill because as I was laying on the hill I could see the fault line below me I could see it so there was a big earthquake that we were preparing for and you could see the fault lines and then in the same dream I saw eggs that were strange eggs and it had locust like creatures in it locust like creatures and they were getting ready to hatch y'all please wake up and see the time that we are in jesus said that the earthquakes would be in diverse places and they would be a lot of them because you know whenever you get ready to give birth like i've said before your contractions they come stronger and they become more painful and they last longer and as you saw, as you saw, I'm sure you saw the news where they said violence across the U.S. Has, is at an all-time high right now. Y'all, can you not see peace is leaving the earth? Can you not see it? Can you not see that the comfort that we once had is no longer here? Can you not see that the time that we had where we could go anywhere, do what we want, see who we want, just have all the freedom and comfort that we could ever dream of. Can you not see that that is being taken away? The hand of God's protection is starting to come up. Can you not see that? Can you not see that he is speaking he is speaking he is letting us know be ready be ready can you not see that y'all it's not the time to play it really isn't i know there's a lot of people that's gonna say well y'all been saying for two thousand years that he was coming and he hasn't come yet do you know one of the signs that jesus said that they would say where is the promise of his coming and you are literally seeing that every single day every single day people are saying well he's you've been talking about this since i was a little kid where is he where is the sign where is he you know where is the sign of his coming well i tell you what that's one of the signs that is one of the signs this world is only going to get darker it's only going to get darker and the only way that you and i can make it through the only way is if we put our trust in god we trust in him to take care of us if we trust in him to completely protect us but we have to remember we have to remember that being a christian is not a bed of roses 
And if you've been telling people, if you've been getting people's hopes up, telling them that being a Christian is a bed of roses, that you'll you'll be a happy, you'll live a happy life. Yes, you will live a happy life. But you also have to go through trials and tribulations and storms. If you love your life, then you will lose it. But if you, lo if you lose your life, then you will gain your life. Now, I know you don't understand what that means. But basically, what that means is, if you treasure more life, if you treasure your life more here on earth than you do to lose it, then you're not going to make it to heaven. Even Jesus said that. He said that, Mother would turn against child. Father would turn against child. Child would turn against their parents. And siblings, loved ones would turn against each other. Because many would be offended. Many would turn you in to be, to be put in prison. Now is not the time to play. It's not. I watched the moon Saturday night you know we were supposed to have an eclipse I watched the moon and let's just say that I didn't get to see all of it because of the clouds but you do realize we had an eclipse on the 4th of July you do realize that right you do realize that that is a bad sign it really is and with everything that is going on in 2020, how can you not see that we are in the end? How can you not look around and see everything that is going on and be like, I need to get my house in order? Because time is running out and it's running out quick. So what we need to do is we need to seek God with our whole hearts. We need to stay in His presence. And we need to stay as close to Him as we can. Make sure that you know Him. Make sure that you spend time with Him. Make sure that you have a relationship with Him. Because soon and very soon those clouds are going to part. And He is going to call us home. And you do not want to be left behind on this earth when His wrath is falling. You do not. I promise you don't. And why would you not want to live for the one who created you? Why would you not want to live for the one who gave his life for you? And now he is coming again. He went to prepare a place for us in heaven. He went to prepare a place for us and he will come back and get us. And let me tell you something. God loves you. But if you're left behind, if you're left behind, it's because you were not ready. You were not ready. And there's going to be a lot that think that they're going to be taken, but they're not. Please seek God while you, while you can still find Him. Please seek God while we are in the age of grace. Because the age of grace is quickly coming to an end. And people just cannot see it. They can't. There has been a major shift. And if you cannot feel it. Then you do not have his spirit. Because there has been a major shift. And all of the spirit filled believers. We feel it. We feel the sense of urgency. That we've got to get his message out. He is coming. Ask God to forgive you for your sins. Repent. Be baptized in Jesus' name. And ask Him to give you the gift of His Holy Spirit. We don't have much time left. We don't. Time is running out. Time is growing short. And it is growing shorter by the day. And if you remember, Jesus said, If He had not shortened those days, that there would be no flesh left, not even but for the elect's sake that he will shorten those days. And I don't know if you know what's going on in Israel. But you need to keep an eye on it. 
and you really need to keep an eye on Israel you really do because there's a lot going on over there and you have no clue unless you're watching breaking Israel news unless you're going to breakingisraelnews.com you have no idea what is going on in Israel at all and time is growing short I pray that you will heed this warning and you will seek God while you still can because time is running out and we are not guaranteed tomorrow because like a thief in the night he will come and he will come within a twinkling of an eye and we will be gone and it will be too late it will be too late so please seek God while you still can I love you all and I will see you in the next video.